one of the clients on our dream list was a big telecom company that you uh, definitely would have heard of. And a traditional cold outreach might have been something like, hey, telecom company, um, we have an idea that can increase your conversion rates. You want to meet? You know, some iteration of that. And ultimately, we'd send six follow-ups asking the same thing over and over again. We might cold call asking over and over again. Again, that's a taking mentality. But we flipped that around a little bit. And instead, this is what we did. We went on the telecom website and we saw something that we thought we could improve. In this case, they were selling phone, TV, and internet service. And on the page, it was very confusing. As you can imagine, they were speaking in megabytes and megabits. They had 75 packages. It was really hard to discern what was going on. So rather than telling people we're going to increase their conversion rates, which everybody sends an email saying that, those value propositions are getting lost, we decided to create a little video um, using a technology called ScreenFlow and Loom to be able to show them what a reimagined page might look like. And we spent about four minutes architecting that in a very lo-fi way and walking them through what that page might look like and the results we hope to achieve. And then we took that video and we created a little thumbnail of it with the prospect's name on it. So the thumbnail said, hey, Beth, have a video for you, click here. And so she saw her name on the thumbnail with a little play button. And there was some copy at the front and at the bottom of it that said, here's an idea that we think might be interesting to help you folks you know, sell more phone, TV, and internet service with the video and then cheers, Josh. Click on the link and then we get to see, she gets to see the actual video of us talking her through this approach. And then on our side, we can actually see if she's interacting with it. Is she opening it and is she clicking it? Is she passing it around? And if she is, we could then have a opportunity to cold call and say, hey, noticed you were clicking around. Um, what sort of piqued your interest? I'm sure you get lots of emails all the time. And that starts like a dialogue. Um, in this case with the telecom company, we didn't have to send the seven email follow-ups like everyone says you have to send. 80% of the time, people open it up on eight. That's because your emails suck. But if you send one of these great emails and it's really targeted based on a trigger that can help someone be better, and it's really thoughtful and you take the time to architect this, um, you can get an interest in one email. And that was the case in the telecom company. So again, the tactic is creating a video audit um, using a technology called Loom or ScreenFlow and embedding that little video um, into the email, the thumbnail, the video is actually hosted somewhere else. So that's first, that's tactic number one. And we could certainly talk about a, a second tactic also.